Part 2. Crimson Flower. Pegasus Moon. Tempest of Swords and Shields. With Deirdre under Imperial control, the Leicester Alliance ceases to exist, and its remaining lords ally themselves with the Empire. The Black Eagle Strike Force, having now conquered all of Eastern Fodnum, confidently moves to invade the kingdom. Well, there's really nothing else left to do. That makes sense. Of course, we've got other things to cover before then. And that concludes Count Burgles's report. Just as Claude said, the old alliance has willingly fallen under Imperial rule. However, knowing him, there is no telling what manner of poison could be waiting within. We must be careful not to expose any weakness. Of course, though it seems we can now attack the kingdom without issue. True. However, you should know that Lord Arendelle has entered Deirdre. It would seem he has already started collecting the relics of the old alliance. Let him do as he pleases for now. It's not yet the time to chide him. Understood. As for the kingdom, as we theorized, it is not entirely united. If we defeat the royal family of House Blakett, and a handful of other notable houses, it should fall under our control quite readily. Those we must target include the houses Fraldarius, Galatea, Gautier, and Kerry. We have allies who are close to some of those lords. Perhaps that can be used to our advantage. Persuasion by tears or threats. Perhaps one would consent to act as a hostage. We must make good use of the tools given to us. What about House Row in Arianwald, the fortress city? Will they not side with us? The head of House Fraldarius, Lord Rodri, has entered the city. It is possible that he has seized it. I see. Then it might prove too difficult to strike Ferdiad right away. Either way, when preparations are complete, we can begin our deployment into the kingdom. That part of the plan remains unchanged. Professor, is something wrong? All right, first of all, shout outs to Hubert and all that scheming he does. Good Lord. Getting someone to act as a hostage. I know he's very much a uh, ends justify the means kind of guy. Still. Uh, let's see, many of these names are new to me? They're not. I get to draw on info from uh, all the other playthroughs. No, it's nothing. This month, we must again put all of our effort into preparing for battle. I'm counting on you, my teacher. Of course you are. Oh. Oh. Professor, you didn't hear anything just now, did you? Uh... Yeah, you know what? It's not often that you get a chance to rib the Emperor. So, uh, <laughs> that was a cute shriek. Cute? Huh. Well, be that as it may, it is not your concern. It was nothing. Uh, are you sure about that? I told you it was nothing and I meant it. It's just, uh, well, there was a rat. I don't enjoy the company of rats. I believe I've told you about this before, about when I was held captive beneath the palace. There were a lot of rats there. To this day, I just... Uh, what's that? Professor, leave here at once. I recall now that Hubert needs to speak with me. I must change my clothes. Now. 
Whatever you do, don't look this way. Uh, I already saw it. Uh, then forget what you saw. That's an order. All right, I guess we're not gonna see what she's talking about. Exactly. Just that she was working on something. Anyway, let's go exploring. Uh, what kind of quest do we have this month? Just clear those out uh, quick as I can. Can you help me? Um. All right, secretly from Almira. Okay. Ah. Um, the alliance is just the merchants of Dareju all have nursed. And I'm pretty sure you've heard that before. Secret shop, that's always important. And Hubert hanging out in the Alliance classroom? Claude Von Regan. What an interesting character. Underneath that compassionate exterior, he was always cold and calculating. Ordinary fools run headlong into combat without even considering the possibility of defeat. But to consider one's chances and to prepare for plans to go awry, that takes real intelligence. I have to say, I am impressed beyond words. Of course, Hubert would say that. Uh, after all, in two of the other routes, that's exactly what he did. Is it? All right. Do I have them? Well done, Professor. Cool. Thank you. I'll take an extra two thousand gold. Why not? Um, all right, let's begin chatting with everyone. The battle ended without House Ardelia getting involved. Although I have no desire to continue on with my family, so from here on out, it's up to Edelgard. I have Claude to thank. Ultimately. This ended without the Alliance being entirely consumed by this war. It's all thanks to Claude. And that's true. Uh, part of uh, Claude's foresight was to uh, ask uh, the survivors of the battle to... to cooperate with the Empire. So if he hadn't recruited Lysithia in the first part uh, you could have recruited her at the end of the previous battle and she'd be making her appearance here the worst part about going into battle is knowing you might have a friend fighting for the other side you were a mercenary professor were you always prepared for that uh, uh I still hesitate That's reassuring I don't think I'll ever get used to it fighting old friends nothing worse my hands shake just thinking about it i'm glad claude didn't die does that make me soft absolutely not well claude's not a bad guy he's never been a bad guy the only thing about claude was that he uh could not be on our side. If the Alliance falls, then the kingdom will... <sighs> There's no time to waste. If we hesitate, we risk losing the initiative. I do think we should let the troops rest, though. We must maintain morale, Professor. And let's make sure this matter stays between us. If it gets out, I'll struggle to forgive even you. Uh. Oh, uh, yes. See, here's the thing I don't get about Edelgard. 
she'll tell you to forget something and then you can act like you've already forgotten it and then she'll get mad at you So the winning move is to just say, all right, keep this a secret. Thank you. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I have not told anyone or something to that effect. All right, Hanneman is uh, in his office, of course. What does he have to say this month? It seems Claude has disappeared. Do you suppose this means the end of House Regan? While the crest of Von Regan is not terribly rare, the long lineage of the Von Regan family will be broken. Ah, it's another consequence of war. War is bad. Agreed. like how they carefully scripted that so that uh, it could cover the possibility that you opted to kill him. The Lester Alliance is no more. 300 years of history. Gone and done. They write operas about events like this, you know? I'm sure they'll have a talented and beautiful songstress playing you. Probably for 80 as well. <laughs> I wonder if there'll be romantic tension between your two characters, even if it's not historically accurate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not jump to conclusions here, Dorothea. Not historically accurate? You see how it is? All right, Marianne. Was there really no way to end it without fighting Claude? Um. Hmm. I guess it couldn't be helped. You're probably right. I suppose the only thing I can do for him now is pray that he may live the rest of his life in happiness. All right now, that one you can tell. Uh, was not scripted uh, to cover either case. That was definitely uh, solely if uh, Claude was spared. Hi there. Let's see. Uh, oh, down the stairs. Oops. Hey, Linhart. Yes, sir. I've been exploring the Holy Mausoleum. It's quite interesting in there. There is a mechanism I believe would allow us passage into the Holy Tomb, but I'm unclear on how to activate it. My research hasn't turned up much. It may come down to asking the Archbishop for details. Uh, I don't think... This is just a hunch, but I don't think she's going to be... Uh... All that forthcoming with those details. Indeed. We'll see if it's worth the trouble. Alright, uh that takes clear takes care of the upper part of the map. Uh sure, let's hit up the training grounds. Why not? Huh. I'm no noble, so it won't make much difference to me. But it hasn't really hit me yet that the alliance is finished. I wonder where Claude is now. What he's getting up to. Pretty nice and simple. Professor, you know as well as I do the day's coming that we'll have to fight the Archbishop and her knights. We've got some strong fighters here, sure. But even with all our training, I don't know if we can win. I just don't see how any of us can compete with the Archbishop, say, turning into a monster. Um... Sometimes it can be better to retreat. That's exactly what I was just saying. I've always appreciated how you listen to me. Uh, thanks, Monwala. First Lester, next Fargus. 
<sighs> That'll be really tough. Look, Professor, fighting Fargus? Isn't there some way we can come to an understanding? Oh, maybe there is, but it's just going to take a lot of uh, uh, a lot of changing hearts in Fargus. Yeah, but Edelgard and her idiot sidekick haven't shown much desire to compromise, have they? Truthfully, I hate the idea of planning to kill people I used to be so close with. I guess everybody feels that way, though. Right you are, Sylvain. I think. I've lived at Gerigmach Monastery for a few decades now. Still, the other day I got myself all turned around. There are so many secret rooms and hidden passages. Maybe I'll take the time to properly search the place. Curious Good idea. I expected to take a whole day. Yes. I just wanted to help out my brother Randolph. So I aspire to be a soldier. My brother puts his life on the line to fight, so I'll put everything I have into it, too. Eventually, the enemy will attack, and when they do, we'll defend this place to the bitter end. Well, let's hope it's not that bitter of an end. Bow tournament? You know, while we're here, might as well. Oh no, is Bernadetta that slow? Oh, well, she's been activated, so... Yeah, she is. A sweet dodge. Always take those. Oh, sweet crit in the in the tournament. You never say no to those. Uh, oh god, twenty damage. Why can this guy do twenty damage? That's uh. Give her a heal. Yeah. It'll work out. She's just got to land four hits before this guy can land three. And, uh, oh. Now her damage is boosted. And that'll do it. That's all she wrote. Can't say no to a silver bow plus. All right, that was a fun little intermission. Ferdinand Caspar. The majority is with us. This conflict will end soon. I am so moved by the Alliance nobles' decision. That is true nobility, acting in accordance with the people's needs and wishes. As war drags on. Those living near the front lines inevitably get the worst of it. We will not see such a peaceful resolution in Fargus, I am afraid. As it is ruled by the royal family, not a council of nobles. That's uh, one way to look at it, Ferdinand. I mean, I I didn't realize that we pulled the, uh, the population of the Alliance. My father and Deirdre? I guess he'll be responsible for controlling the Regan territory and maintaining popular support. Not really sure what all that means, though. <laughs> you should study more, Caspar. You're probably right. I'll do my best. Don't know what it means to maintain popular support? It seems all that praise of Claude's ingenuity was largely unfounded. A truly clever man would have realized defeat was inevitable and surrendered. Or failing that, he could have rallied the Alliance nobles to secure a real fighting chance. Wow, Lawrence. I regret not telling him so. But I suppose a man like him will not remain hidden for long. I know you saw yourself as his rival, but... Jesus. <laughs> Professor? 
All right, there's someone up here, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's you. Neither the Emperor nor the Empire have my allegiance. It is all simply part of the agreement. There is no other reason for me to be here. All right. Vague, mysterious, not at all enlightening. I think that's about what we've come to expect from Yuritsa. Let me pick this up before I forget. Uh, let's see. In the night hall itself, there's Randolph. Finally, the kingdom. After that, we'll battle the church. I volunteered for monastery guard duty. It was more for my family than anything. But now, from the bottom of my heart, I want to see Her Majesty ruling this land. Even if it costs me my life, I will protect Garrick Mach. Well, let's not say things uh, we can't take back. <laughs> my father is holding Aryan Road secure. Our next battle will be there, against him. Or in Ferdiad, which the king is protecting. Yeah, I'm counting on you, Felix. I'm not, but I just want him to hear those words. <laughs> you just worry about yourself. Hey. All right. Uh, just... All right, Bernadette and Ingrid are around here. Nice job. I just will hand that in before I forget. While the battle with the Alliance is over, we still need to stay vigilant. Both the Church and the Kingdom are not to be taken lightly. I have a feeling we'll draw their attention soon. Weapon prep and training are of the utmost importance, now more than ever. Yeah, okay. War isn't kind to you if you're a recluse. By the time you realize what's going on, you're already under attack. And if you're off by yourself, you can get killed with no one ever even finding out. Yeah, sounds like you're learning. Got me out of my room at least. That's good, right? All right. I guess that wasn't the magic answer, but that's fine. They can't all be the magic answer. A gatekeeper. Hey Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. You may already know this, but the Kingdom and the Alliance were once a single entity. The leaders of the Alliance, House Regan, are actually a branch of the Blathed Royal Family. In a way, it's just a battle of the part of the Blathed Family Tree that rose in rebellion against the Empire. Yeah, but the Kingdom also used to be part of the Empire, so... All right, the secret shop is open. Um, just for a reminder, let's poke through what we've got here. Shield, rings, elixirs, master seals are, of course, the big thing. And stat boosters. Not going to buy them right now because uh, I've already gotten them. Uh, Through here. Drew's fallen. The Alliance nobles have surrendered to the Empire. We made it through with as few losses as possible. Not bad, all things considered. But I doubt it'll be so easy to deal with Fargus. Right. I can't believe it. To think I saw the end of the Leicester Alliance with my own eyes. I witnessed a turning point in the history of my homeland. I'm not sure how to express my feelings right now. Uh, why not paint a picture? That's right. I'll paint it. The fall of Deirdre. So that posterity can remember our triumph. Sure does seem pretty happy. In not knowing how to feel. But hey, Lada Slava. next opponents will be the Kingdom's army and the Knights of Seros. Both fearsome foes. Put the mobility of my troops to good use, and let us protect the kingdom's western battlefront. 
When this month has ended, I'll depart. I pray that you have good luck in battle. Alright, uh, dining hall. Of course. Of course. Shamir up here? You're too soft. I'm talking about Claude. Our Emperor mercilessly cuts down all those who stand in her way. But perhaps she is more tolerant of those who know their place. Okay. We may be witnessing a key moment in history. Hundreds of years from now, your name and Edelgard's will be written in the history books, Professor. Uh, and perhaps. I wonder who will decide whether we did the right thing or not. Well, it won't be us anyway. Probably the people of a future era. Hmm. You know, the funny thing about history books and that is that uh, they tend to be written by the victors. Oh, Claude. I'm so relieved that we managed to make it out alive. You'll be fighting the kingdom next, right? Then the church? Isn't there some way we can do this without fighting Dimitri and Lady Rhea? I suppose not. Yeah, they're not really willing to back down. The kingdom always is cold. I have hatred for the cold. Bridget is not cold. We have no cold spirit. Does the goddess of Fodlan give protection from the cold? I am wishing I knew how to ask her. Thanks, Petra. Uh, is that everyone in the main monastery? Looks like it. All right, let's pop into Abyss, see what uh, our friends there have to say. Oh, and I guess I should give a demonstration of uh, one of the other functions of the Wayseer while we're here. Listen up, I've got something to report. The Alliance is a thing of the past now. Times are changing fast these days. It's hard to keep up, even for me. I wonder if Abyss is on the verge of change too. Change leads to uncertainty, and uncertainty leads to... change? I don't know, I'm just a guard. <laughs> Thanks for your input, Abyss Keeper. Uh, you're the best. by how quickly toppling Deirdre brought the Alliance into the fold. Ideally, we'd crush the kingdom with ease. But something tells me it'll be complicated. You'd better sharpen your focus to a fine point. Though I'm sure you already know that. Yeah, we'll be fine, Yuri. But thanks for worrying. Uh, okay. Come on. Hey, Happy. We're fighting people we used to know from the Officers Academy. I guess that's the kind of thing that happens in war, but still, it's getting twisted. It makes me feel so... Ugh. Maybe I'll just try not to think about it. Yeah, do your best. I don't know why I keep checking the scrap heap. Got nothing for me. Yes, the Wayseer! Connect Fates option. Uh, now that I actually have some pairings available, uh, yeah, you can just pick some. We'll pick one. I'm not going to, like, save the change, so it's fine. But you pick any of these pairings, any uh, two units that have an A rank support. So let's say Linhard and Happy. Then 10,000 Renown. 10,000, that's a lot. Now granted, I've spent a, a lot of mine, but... Uh, 
But yeah, now, uh, when you get to the paired endings at the very end of uh, your playthrough, uh, no matter what happens, no matter how the supports develop between any of the other characters, uh, as things stand right this second, Linhart and Happy will always have a paired ending. Now, just for the fun of it, let's... Uh, See what happens if I pick uh, Lysithia and Balthus. If it is your wish. Skip that. Nation a little. Everything is within your grasp. And now it's uh now the only guaranteed pair is Lysithia and Balthus. So you can only pick one per playthrough. Uh, which is probably fair. Uh, if you could just pick all of your pairings, that'd be that'd be something else. Um, like I said, though, I'm not really going to uh, stick with that because that is a huge, huge renown cost. Uh, there was a point where they changed how much renown you got for uh for completing a playthrough uh, i think it was originally ten thousand, so or maybe they changed it to 10 uh so yeah that's a really big price the swiftness of the alliance's withdrawal on seeing that they had no hope of victory was unsurprising given their complete lack of solidarity there could really have been no other outcome. Uh, hmm. Yeah, wasn't there withdrawal Claude's idea? Yes, he built his scheme with their self-interest as its cornerstone. Very cunning of him. What's important is that one of the forces arrayed against us has fallen. Our victory draws nearer. Maybe she does have a problem with the Alliance nobles. Uh, Baltus, hanging out by the exit. The Alliance may be finished, but House Albrecht's managed to come out unscathed. That's good. Thanks to my little bro. He's a great guy. I'm sure he'll do well under the Empire. All right, that's good to hear. I may have cut ties with him, but I'm still curious to know how they were managing. The world may have changed, but I haven't. I have no interest in playing the noble game. I'd rather just keep doing my thing. Yep. Getting drunk, getting into fights, and getting deeper into debt. That's his thing. Alright, the pop back up to the surface. Just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any dialogue options. All right. So that is what everyone has to say about the present situation. <laughs>